hope you're all staying safe and doing very well. This week, we have a super, super easy craft to do. So we're using grape stalks to create little blossom trees. This one is about to be created. And so it's super, super easy, great for kids. Hopefully some of our Div Diddy Divine dancers will try. It's fabulous. So put it of grapes. Take your grapes off your little store. You can do all kinds with these trees once you have one. Make sure you eat your grapes. I've took all of the stalks off these grapes and we haven't actually eat them yet. So these two stalks came from one punnet of grapes. And this is just the very last little tiny bit, which I'll use as an example to show you how we start. So what I did was I dry, left this out overnight so it was all nice and dry. And then get some blue tack. So it sort of mould it into a mountain. So that you can stick your stalk, yours won't be this small, it'll be the same as these. So that you can stick your stalk into your blue tack, which works as a base. And so then just simply paint it black. I've used uh, children's acrylic black paint. And then you can see I've stuck it onto a bottle top lid. So it's just all painted black. I've even painted the top of the blue tack there and then because it's blue tack it will just stick onto a lid and you can either have it just like that and decorate your lid or you could use just some of these small pots or even a yogurt pot to place your little tray in. Now this little pot I've just painted uh, cream with my everlasting Dulux stone emulsion tester pots and this one I've just painted the whole thing with PVA glue and then just using wool I just once this had all the glue on it just sticks nicely and then I've just wrapped it all around to create this and then just change the wool at the top so you could have a nice painted one or go with the whole wool theme and decorate your pot or your base in wool. So to get this blossom effect, children always protect the area you're working in and be very careful using scissors or ask an adult to make your blossom for you. Now your blossom is just pink wool. I've just wrapped it around my hand and my elbow. About this much is all you need. And then once it's together and raveled up. Just take your scissors, pop these grapes away. Ah, okay. So now we're going to make our lovely blossom and it's just simply cutting, shaving really with the scissors, the end of the wool. Be very careful not to cut your fingers and just go around till you get to the end. Just small little bits so you can see already it's creating some fluff. So once you have your fluff, I have this here. Perfect blossom to make a little blossom tree. We just need some PVA glue and a paintbrush and this one I didn't put as much glue on as I should have so little bits have fallen off but that's nice because that's what happens with blossom. So it's painted, it's stuck onto the lid to give you a base, which helps you hold it. So you just want to, on the ends, 
give it big dollops of PVA glue using a paintbrush just on the ends so that the actual tree stem stalk is still showing all over I like this craft because for years even as a child I've always took the grapes off the stem and stood, stood or sat thinking of all different ideas I could do to make a nice little tree. Now it doesn't have to be, you don't have to cover this in wool or fluff. You could use glitter or anything really that you want to put on and make this your own. So we've got lots of glue on there now. And the ends. Yep. Ready to stick our blossom on. And all we do is take little bits and then just stick them on the end of where your glue is. Bits fall off, so do it over a plate. And you can say, actually looks quite nice, just plain and black, but you can see how it's starting to have that nice little blossom effect. Like I say, this is a great one for our Diddy Divine Dancers or our children to have a go. Because it's very easy and has a nice little effect. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now, the larger amounts that I'm putting on here aren't going to stick completely. But once it's dry, if you give it a shake, the little ones that are stuck to the glue work fabulous. And there we have a bit of shake so there's not too much coming off. Might even put a bit of glue on the base there. Now to fill this because these are just lids, bottle top lids that I've put in to just raise the platform for my blossom tree. So I'm just going to add a little bit more glue to the base, keeping it sturdy. Maybe a bit around the top. Because blossom always falls from the trees. It does do. So, a little bit of blossom around the edge. And there you have a nice little blossom tree. It does do. That took a couple of minutes, excluding the time for painting and letting it dry overnight. And decorate it however you want and have fun. Send us lots of pictures of anything that you try or if you add glitter or different things. And until then, see you soon. Bye bye.